Uh, it's day four or five uh, before we face uh, Mohambika. Uh, how is going the preps? Really, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm surprised uh, because uh, um, we have a, a, a big number of players in the list. Uh, we make it a big number of players because we have a different situations. Also, we have a, a lot of players from from abroad that arrive late and we take a big list to, to be ready for any, any situation. We have some situations with some players, but uh, in general I'm, I'm really happy. The players are, are, are training very, very, very good, very hard. We have a very young group. We are thinking about, uh, about the present and about the future. And, and this is true because we have a, a really, really young group of players. And this is good for, for the national team because in my opinion we have a good future. We have some of them uh, young and new players and the adaptation are, are very good and fast and I'm really happy. Coach, from new players, uh, we've seen the uh, Noel Newman holding a, a US passport. The, is, is he a rich boat player? Uh, this question is more for administrative. I am a coach, I can answer you tactical questions, but administrative situations it's, it's not my goal but for sure when I put one player on the list uh, I ask the situation of, of the players if they can play for, for Rwanda because they, he has origins from Rwanda and, and they told me that yes we will see if we are on time or not with the papers because as you know he's a new player is is it's the first time that he came but what is sure is that as a future player and if he's ready to help the team he will be available and at least if he's not ready, so we will take this time with him to, to fix all the, all the documents to be ready in the near future. But this is important job for the country, thinking about future, not only for Mozambique. But if he is really available to play against Mozambique, he is one player more that I have in the, in the list. Coach, this game is considered a, as a, a do or die game. Yeah. And if we try to analyze your playing style, yes. uh, especially away, you try to defend and you get a good result, but at home, uh, up to now, it seems very difficult. Yeah. You expect to play how in order to get a good result, uh, because we know that you have to attack and uh, score goals, because it's the uh, last game that we wanted to, to expect a qualification. So it's a good question, because you tell me that uh, our style abroad, our style at home, but really, at home, we play just one game and was uh, against Benin and without supporters. So let's see that will be our first go game at home uh, because, as, as everybody knows, the, the game against Senegal, we should play at home, but we finally we play there. And against Benin, we play here without supporters. And our game at home against Benin, in my opinion, was, was good. Was not, uh, was, uh, we had, so we had much more possession than them. We have more sh two times they shoot to the shoots to the goal more than them. We have more corners, so we have the, the let's say that the stats in the game against Benin at home was was for our side. No, so for sure it's not the same for us to play against Senegal away than play one game at home. We have to to be smart and to take the best uh, the best decision in every game. And I don't have any doubts that uh, this game for us is a crucial game, and we have to go for win. And I can say here to everyone that we will play this game for win, for sure. Coach, having the trainings and the preparations here in Kigali, why the match will be played in Akiwe? Why do you choose that? How you, sorry? Uh, having the trainings here yes. at Kigali, why yes. the match will be played in Akiwe? Why? Uh, because, uh, first of all, I, it was my decision. I wanted to wait all the players to travel together to Huye. Let's say that here the field is synthetic, is artificial. In Huye is also synthetic, artificial, so it's not a big difference. If the, if the field in Huye is natural, so probably I choose to, to go to Huye as soon as possible. But thinking that the, the, style, the, the, the field is the same, is synthetic, I decided to, to train here. We are comfortable here training. And we are waiting all the players and we travel together as a team to Huye. This was my decision. The objective is win the game. So to, to tell you something different. But about that, 
I'm a little bit surprised, no? because when I arrive, I make a list of players and I receive a lot of comments, a lot of critics. This is copy and paste. This is we change a coach and we have the same players. With, the same, with these players, we never go to AFCON. Why we change? Now, when you change, oh, why not come the other players? <laughs> Everybody, no, no, no one is happy. No? So I know that this is my job. I take decisions. Some, some, some of you will be uh, agree, some, some no. I have to think about future, but also about present. I don't want to give the, 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 the point of view that I'm thinking about future. No, no, I'm thinking about Mozambique. For sure, after that, uh, we have a, 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 a very good possibility because uh, you know, we'll start the, the qualification for the World Cup and it's the first time in the history that 10 teams from Africa will go and it's a big possibility uh, if we are working good to, to have to, to keep our chances to, to go to World Cup, why not? So the future is always in our mind, but we cannot forget that we have chances to, to qualify to AFCON and I wanted to fight until the end, until the last match, as I promised when I arrived here, fight until the last match for the qualification. And after the banning situation that we had the last, uh, last, last game here with all administrative situations, our situation now is crucial. It's, it's not uh, another choice to, to, to win. And uh, coming to, the, to your question about the players, I choose the players that I think now in the, in the best moment in the style that I want to play. And this is my decision. I'm very happy with some players, as you say, Kagere for me is a captain and is a player. And it not means that he will not come again. It does not mean like that. I, I not close the doors to any player. But I have to, to, to take decisions step by step. Kagere play, I think, also seven, eight games with me here. So I give him chances. And, and if he is still competing in good, in good teams, he will still have chances for sure. But I have to think about the future. For me, it, 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 it's not a matter to who is the captain, or it's, it's, it's not a matter actually. We, we have a, a good group, but for sure, the players who has more responsibility in this in these issues for me, so are Abdul, are, are Thierry Manzi, and are Jihad. These are three players who who stay more time working with me, and they have experience. Uh, all of them outside the country. And, uh, and they have a big, big commitment with the national team. And now that uh, Kagere is not here, so the responsibility is for, for them. Thank you, coach. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. I hope that all we are together. We will be there. We are fighting we'll there. for the same country. Don't yeah, forget. For sure. Don't forget. Yeah.